he has this woman who's like a servant who's always there and he's always looks like he's whispering to her talking to her like very confidentially and this type of thing supposedly allegedly is his assistant who's with him all the time Satchinanda has a young girl that travels with him and people know that's wrong and but there's no control there's no nobody's going to stand up and say this is wrong that's wrong and we can't have this going on Sachinandan Swami is another person who is very much connected to the Radha Kund Babaji group and he's going there visiting with them glorifying them and saying how wonderful they are I don't think a lot of devotees realize that the Radha Kun Babaji's are very, very critical of the Gaudiya Vaishnava line that we follow. Uh, in particular, Bhakti Siddhartha Saraswati Thakur, they are very critical of him. They they don't think he's authorized, and they've made very negative statements about our Guru line, uh, basically saying it's it's a bogus line. And so Prabhupada told us, do not visit with these Babaji's in Vrindavan. He, he said they think they're living in Radha Kund, but they're living in Naraka Kund. Naraka means hell. So he was very critical of his devotees who would go and associate with these Babaji's, and yet that has become like an open door policy now. Mahanidhi goes there and goes there and you know anyone who wants to go can go South Rup is going so you know this is another big problem that they're kind of siphoning people off to these Babaji's they're just uh, you know taking people out of Iskand handing them off to Sridhar Maharaj, Narayan Maharaj this Babaji, that Babaji and how many people are going to be left in Iskand after a while it doesn't seem like they're trying to even maintain the integrity of the institution at this point. They're just siphoning people off into all these different groups and gurus and living authorities and so on and so forth. Like uh, Fakir Mohan is another one. There's a bunch of people who worship Fakir Mohan. So this is one of the big problems we have with the current leaders. They very freely mix with all kinds of outside authorities that Prabhupada did not approve of authorities that may even be very critical of Prabhupada himself. They may not even like Prabhupada, but, you know, it's kind of people are going there, falling at the feet of these people, worshipping these people, and creating uh, a spin-off organization. They're just spinning Iskhan off into all kinds of different groups and subgroups and so on and so forth. It's a way of dismantling the institution. And people like Satyanandan are at the forefront of that process.